everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to build a very easy multi-floor elevator. So right here, we have our little choice of floors we want to go to. I just have five floors on mine. You can expand this thing to 14 floors if you so choose. But let's just say we are on floor one right now. So let's say we want to go to floor three. We just click this button, get inside of our bubble column right here, and we'll be shot up to floor three. Now, let's say, you know, what, let's go back down to floor two. So we have floor two, go into the left-hand side of our bubble column elevator, and we'll go down to floor two. Now, let's say we want to go up to, let's just go all the way to the top to floor five, click floor five, and we will be shot up all the way to the top to floor five. And then, of course, if you want to go back down, let's just go back to floor one, click that button. Just got to wait a little bit because the higher you go, the more time it takes. We'll go all the way back down to floor one now guys i tried to keep this as simple and easy as possible so let's go ahead and look at the redstone behind it and yep that's it <laughs> all it is is a redstone torch column and then we have some walls right here that will activate some observer blocks down here to make this simple selector work so if i you know let's say i go up here and i click floor five a trap door opens up activating our walls which will in turn activate floor five so let's say i went to this one and clicked floor one It'll activate our walls, thus activating our selector down here, making it floor one. And like I said, you can make this thing go up to 14 floors, but keep it in mind, the more floors you put in, the longer it will take. I did use a stopwatch just to see how much time each floor added to it, and it's roughly about 0.7 to 0.9 seconds. So I'm just going to say every floor that you add on after floor two will add another second to it. So if you make, if you decide to make all 14 floors, it's probably going to take roughly about 10 seconds or nine seconds for the elevator to actually reach that section. But let's go ahead and start building this thing. All right, guys. So normally I like to give eight definite spacings with my build, but for something like this, I recommend building the elevator and then building a building or whatever you want to do. Maybe it's just on the side of a cliff around your elevator so the resources you're going to need now i'm just going to be doing five floors right here but it can go up to 14 floors but for five floors you are going to need six sticky pistons five pistons 10 observer blocks 10 droppers not dispensers five redstone comparators 15 redstone repeaters 28 redstone torches 45 redstone 25 buttons of your choice i recommend using stone and or polished black stone buttons you are also going to need eight glass blocks five magma blocks four soul sand blocks 30 signs, 20 trap doors. We're also going to need 112 cobblestone walls. But if you've been playing Minecraft for a while, you got a lot of cobblestone in those boxes. So now you get to go ahead and use it for something. We're also going to need at least 25 kelp and a bucket of water. This is just to easily make those bubble columns. And then also you're just going to need some blocks of choice. All right, guys, so once you've gathered up your resources and figured out where you want to place your elevator, now I'm going to be making mine out of white concrete. We're going to take out our blocks of choice, and I want you to come up 24 blocks. We're going to start off by building our bubble columns first, and then we'll build the elevator around it. So we're going to come up 24 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And then of course you can make it taller later on in the build because once you understand how to do this, it's super easy guys. So you can add on up to 14 floors if you would like. But we're going to come up 24 there. Then we're going to come up 24 right next to it. So just bring a line of blocks going all the way up right next to it. And then we're going to come out one right here. You know, let's go ahead and just make our entire inside. So right here is going to be your entire inside of your bubble column elevator. So now let's go ahead and bring all of these blocks up to that 24 block limit. So once you've placed in all of your blocks for your bubble column elevator, we're going to go ahead and take out our signs now. And we're going to place one, two, three signs like that, and three signs on this side as well. And then we're going to place in two blocks in between now the reason why i made it four blocks tall is just in case you want to have a flooring of your building and you also want a ceiling for your building so this could be the ceiling for the first floor and then this could be the flooring for the second floor so it's completely up to you if you want to make it a little bit smaller but i recommend just keeping it at that because then also you won't be able to hit your head when you jump up and down so once you skip those two blocks we're just going to place in signs once again one two three on the left and three on the right just like that and then go ahead and place in two more sets of blocks right in the middle and do it again. One, one, two, and three. And same thing on this side. One, two, and three. And then later on, you can also put signs in 
to show which floors you're on, but we're not going to worry about that just yet. And then we're going to place in two more blocks right here. And again, put in our three signs. One, two, and three. And again, one, two, three. Another floor. I think this should be the last one. Yep. Yeah, one, two, three, four, and yep, number five. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so you should be able to reach right before the top with your signs. If you placed in 24 blocks perfectly, there we go. And then we're just going to go ahead and put a little cap on this thing. Just like that. So that's going to be all of your floors. One, two, three, four, and number five. Next up, we're just going to come right here to the top and place in water. And it should go all the way down to the bottom. Now, once your water has completely filled in this entire area, we're now going to take out our kelp blocks because right now these aren't full water source blocks. They need to be full water source blocks for our bubble columns to work. So this is where our kelp is going to come into play. So we're going to start by placing kelp here and then go up our entire water source with our kelp all the way to the top. And now that will make every single block a full water source block. Then you can go ahead and break your kelp and then go ahead and just recollect all your kelp so you can go ahead and use it on the other side as well. So now if I go over here to this right hand side and I place in my soul sand block, it should have a full bubble column now going all the way to the top. See, there goes all our water. So now we can go right up our elevator. Absolutely fine. So now we're going to do the same thing for this side. Don't do that though if you're on survival because you will definitely die. <laughs> so we're just going to go all the way up the sides with our kelp. Then we're going to go all the way to the bottom, break it, and then go ahead and place in your magma block now. And now this side should be working as well. So now we have one side to go up. And then we have the other side to go down. All right, guys. So now that our bubble columns are in place, we have all our floors in place as well. We're going to come to the back hand side. And then off this right hand side of our bubble column, and not the left, we're going to count up five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Break this block replace it with a magma block and do that all the way to the top. So starting off of the, well, not starting off the magma block, just count up five blocks from here. So you one, two, three, four, five, break it, replace it. One, two, three, four, five, break it, replace it with a magma block. And one, two, three, four, five, break it, replace it with a magma block. And we don't have to go up here because that's our ceiling. So if I just swing back to the front hand side of my elevator now, you'll see that every magma block is flush to each floor like that perfect so now that we have all our magma blocks in place what i want you to do is take out your soul sand blocks and skip the first magma block skip the first one and then off the second one one block down and over we're going to place a soul sand block and do that for every single one except for the first one so right here we're going to break this block out place a soul sand break this one out and place a soul sand so it should look something like this from the backhand side Next up, we're going to take out our sticky pistons and we're going to face a sticky piston into the back of every single one of these blocks. So just come out two blocks from your magma block, place a sticky piston facing in towards it, and then go ahead and break that block and do that for every single one. So two blocks out, sticky piston facing in, two blocks out, sticky piston, two blocks and sticky piston and do that for your soul sand as well all right guys and i'm back and as you can see i just put my sticky pistons facing in towards my soul sand blocks and my magma blocks so now that we have our bubble column in place and we also have those back sticky pistons for each four we can now go ahead and place in our selector so off of the middle area of each floor we're just going to come out five blocks one two three four five like that placing five buttons on every single one so you could do that with every floor right now too if you want to just come out five blocks from the middle of each floor and place in your five buttons there we go so i quickly just went ahead and placed in my five buttons in the middle of each elevator now what we're going to do a swing back here we are going to have to dig down just a tiny bit just two blocks so even if you're doing this on flatlands you should be absolutely fine but we're just going to come out a line of blocks right behind where our buttons are so see, there's my buttons. There's my line. We're going to take out our repeaters and place in five repeaters just like that. So if you click your button, the repeater should turn on. Next up, we're going to place in redstone right underneath these repeaters. And then we're just going to dig down one block right here, placing in more redstone. Dig out one more line. And then coming out of your redstone, you're going to place in one, two, three, four, five more repeaters. 
Next up, take out your building blocks once again and just place them right above this redstone right here. So now when we click the button, boop, all these repeaters should come on and this one repeater will come on as well. Next up, take out your glass blocks and place five glass blocks right here. Go ahead and take out your repeaters once again. And then coming out of every single one of these blocks, we're going to place a repeater on four ticks delay like that. So now when I click the button, that four tick delay repeater will come on there. And if I click this one over here, uh, uh, come on. <laughs> and the four tick delay repeater will come on there as well. Next up, we're going to place in our blocks right in front of those four tick delay repeaters, just like that. Next up, take out your droppers and we're going to dig out these blocks right here. And we're going to face droppers facing down off of every single one of these blocks. Then we can go ahead and place our blocks back in right in front of those repeaters. Just like this. Make sure you don't accidentally tick any of those. They should be all on one tick delay. And we're going to take out our droppers once again and place droppers facing up into these droppers right here. There we go. So we have a dropper going down into this one and this dropper is going up into this one. Next up, I want you to go into the top of every single one of your droppers and just place in one item. I gave you enough redstone for you to do this. So just place in one piece of redstone or dirt. Really doesn't matter. Just make sure there's only one item inside of every single one of your droppers. So there we go. I placed in all of my items inside of my droppers. Then off of the bottom droppers, we're going to take out our redstone comparators now and place redstone comparators coming out of our bottom droppers. And that's going to be our entire selector. So if I click this button right here, this comparator should come on. If I click this button over here, this comparator turned off and then this one turned on. So that's the entire selector done. So let's do it one more time. Click that middle button, comparator comes on, that one went off, perfect. Now it's time to just basically build torch ladders into space. So first, what we're gonna do is click this first button. This is going to be our floor one and slash reset button because since we're already on floor one, we technically don't need to use this button unless you make a basement maybe. I don't know. <laughs> if you make a basement, then maybe. But then right here, we're gonna go ahead and place just more blocks like this and we're gonna take out our redstone torches. Now we don't have to put one on here because our floor one is just our reset. So now what we're gonna do is from here, let's actually do one torch ladder at a time. So basically what we're gonna do is just come up four redstone torches going up. So we already did one. So there's one redstone torch. Then we're gonna have two, it should go off. Then we're gonna have three, it should come on. And then the fourth one should be off unless you have it clicked right now. So obviously, you know, if we click our second floor right here, that torch will come on. And then, you know, if we go ahead and just reset it once again, that torch will go off. So make sure it's off right now. And now what we're going to do is basically just hook a line of redstone from this torch over to these two sticky pistons right here. So we're just going to come out and make sure it lines up perfectly with our soul sand sticky piston right here. Like this. And this is where our glass blocks are going to come back into play. So we're going to come out, up a block, place a glass block down one from that sticky piston that has your soul sand in it. And we can go ahead and place redstone all the way down to where that off torch is. And then right over here, next to this sticky piston, we're just going to come down over a block and up a block like that, placing redstone in. And that's going to be our second floor completely done. So now if I click the second floor button, boop, it will now activate those pistons right there, letting me go up to my second floor, stopping me here like that. And then, you know, of course, if I reset it like that, I can go down to my first floor. So next up is going to be our third floor. Now this one's going to require six redstone torches. So we already placed the first one. So then we can also go and place these blocks here. It'll make it a little bit easier on us. So there's one redstone torch, two, three, four, and then we can go up one more like that, five and six. Now make sure that torch is off. And we're just going to do basically the same thing we did here, except now we're going to be going up just one extra block to reach it. And you're gonna have to do that with every single floor. So I recommend usually only doing 10 floors, but it's really easy guys. You just gotta bring redstone from that torch over to your pistons. So we're just gonna make the same motion we did here. We're gonna bring it down in an L shape. And now instead of going one out like this one down here, we're now just gonna go up one extra block like that. And now we're gonna go ahead and just place in our glass block right here. Now this is where it's gonna change a little bit because we don't want the redstone activating this bottom piston right here. So now off the piston that has our magma block in front of it, we're going to place redstone on top of it, a block up and a block over and place redstone in like that. And it's going to remain that way for the rest of the build. It's always going to have these two blocks here, 
with the redstone going down like that because you don't want to activate this sticky piston that's right next to it and now we're just going to bring our redstone going over to our redstone torch so there we go floor three is completely done so now if i come over here and i click floor three now that redstone torch will come on up there perfect get inside of our elevator and we'll go all the way up to floor three and then of course if we reset it boop we can now go you know back down the elevator like this now you technically don't even need these map blocks honestly but it just makes it look nicer so now the next step is going to be floor four so if you can see the pattern going on it's usually just an extra two torches from the last one so you know first one was four then the second one's six then the, the next one's going to be eight and then the last one's going to be ten it's always going to go up by two redstone torches so let's go ahead and just place in our blocks like this just follow right along the other ones we did we can place in all six of our redstone torches and just like that one how we just came up two extra we're just going to come up two extra from here so you know one should come on and two should go off and now we're just going to bring our blocks all the way out like this once again and now instead of making this one we're just going to come up one extra right here so as you can see the pattern it just goes up one extra here then it's going to go up one extra here and then we're just going to come up a block and connect it right in to our soul sand sticky piston and then the same thing down here we're just going to come out those two blocks and then we're going to place redstone along every single one of these blocks connecting it right over to our redstone torch and that's going to be the next floor completely done so now if i click floor four right here that redstone torch will come on up there letting us know that we can go up into floor four so go in here go all the way up to floor four it'll stop us right before floor five and the good thing about floor five and floor one is you don't really need a redstone torch even for floor five because technically there's nothing higher then floor five the only reason i'm gonna do it is just so you can add more floors later on because it's the same thing over and over again guys it's not it's not difficult at all so you know for floor five we're just gonna go right up right along these ones all the way to the top placing redstone torches in between each block and then we're just gonna come up two extra from the top one so you know just one and two there we go now we just got to bring this line all the way down over here but just like all the other ones how we we're coming out one block once we get to this corner block instead of coming out this one we're going to come up one now and then we're going to go up one right here up one right here and then we're going to have our oh yeah i forgot there's not <laughs> well you know what you can still do this you can still do this if, if you want to add more floors in this is where you know the next floor would be for you know your soul sand block would go right here so honestly i recommend just going like that if you if you're planning on doing more floors but if you're not then you you really don't need this right here <laughs> and then we're just going to do our two blocks like this connecting our redstone right along all these blocks but i mean you can always add in more floors later on as well if you need your building to be a lot bigger later on in the game maybe you don't need it to be that big right now but there is all five of the floors completely done so you know now if i click this one i should be able to go all the way up to my fifth floor like that perfect so now all that's left to do is just have every single floor connected to each other so you know if i click floor five here it will activate my bottom selector down here so what we're basically going to do now is come to the second floor second floor right here and we're just going to come out a block and then place in your cobblestone wall right here break this block and just place in a line of five like this one two three four and five and then right underneath all five of these walls we're going to place observer blocks facing down two three four and five like that next up we're going to place a piston facing down off of every single one of those observer blocks and now we're actually gonna to have to remove this line right here for just a second we're gonna remove this line right here place blocks in front of those pistons and place observer blocks facing down off of those blocks next up go ahead and just break these blocks in between your observer blocks and your pistons take your blocks out once again and go ahead and place those right back in so we have a line of observers facing down into here a line of pistons facing down into these observer blocks and then these observer blocks are facing down into our pistons next up we're going to come out one more walling on each side it might activate it that's fine nothing really matters we can always reset it with any click of any button down here so just make sure you come out one extra walling on each side now what i want you to do is take out your trap doors and then off of every single one of these walls we're going to place in trap doors so now if i click this button up here it'll activate my selector down here and now if i click this one over here the trap door will activate my selector down here and that's basically it guys <laughs> we're gonna do that for every single one so you're just gonna come out a block from here 
And we're, we'll connect all our walls later. I just want to make sure that we get in everything fine. And just follow the same pattern of walling that we did down there. Go ahead and break this block. Take out your trap doors. And off the back of every block that has your button right here, we're going to go ahead and place in our trap doors. Make sure they are working by clicking the button. And it should create a full wall right there. Boop. There we go. Perfect. Make sure all your trap doors are facing the right way. Just give each one a click through just to make sure. I know all mine are. And now all you have to do is just fill in this whole empty space with our cobblestone walls. And it's it's going to keep repeatedly activating it. Don't worry. <laughs> it can't break it. There's nothing in here that could possibly break if you activate it too many times in a row. So let's go ahead and just fill in this entire wall. There we go. So now if I activate, let's say, the fourth floor right here from up here, it will activate our comparator right here, activating the fourth floor. I'll do it one more time. Let's say the second one right here. So that one will go off, and the second one will turn on. And guess what? We're going to do the same exact thing once again. We're going to come out a block from here, place in our cobblestone wall. Just follow right along with your bottom wall right down there. There we go. And on this side, come to this side and place in your trap doors. Make sure they are all facing the right way. And then go ahead and fill in the empty space with your wall. And then one last floor to do. We're just going to come out our block again. Place in our walling. I'm just going to go ahead and just do it. <laughs> I, I, I've showed you so many times. All you have to do is just follow right along down there. It's pretty simple. Then, you know, just placing your trap doors. And I'm just going to go ahead and speed through the video now. All right, guys. And I'm back. And I just have all my walls in place. So now all of our floors are hooked up. And guess what? You are absolutely 100% completely done so if let's say i'm here and i click this floor that will activate my second floor right down here perfect let's say i'm on this floor and i want to activate the fifth floor it will activate the fifth fifth yeah flip yeah flip the <laughs> fifth floor right up here and let's say i want to just go ahead and go back to floor three from the fifth floor the third floor will activate right here perfect now all we have to do is just clean up the air by filling in all of our walls so there's all my walls completely filled in and then of course you know each flooring can have its own color and then each ceiling as well can have its own color as well but that completely depends on you maybe you just want to have a four high ceiling for every single one of your floors so you know what? i'm just going to go ahead and just add in a line of blocks for each floor real quick and also if you want those little arrows that point up and down all you need is a smooth court stair and an item frame so if you place an item frame here and then place in your staircase and go ahead and turn it up you can make an arrow that looks like it's going up and same thing on this side place it in and make it face down like that so in case you just want those little arrows like i have it over here on this one and then also you know you can stop the video here and then put in you know floor one reset floor two floor three four four blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then you can also put the floors in on the sides right here as well but i'm not going to go ahead and do that but we're going to go ahead and just quickly test it out to make sure everything is working so right here should be floor two so if i click this button it'll activate floor two and go up my elevator to floor two let's say i want to go to floor four now click that button It'll activate it. I can now go up to floor four. And now let's say I want to go all the way up to floor five. Let's click this button right here. And we will go all the way up to floor five. And then, you know, last time, let's just go back down to floor one. So just wait for our mag block to come out. There it goes. It should only take about three seconds if you did five floors. And we can go all the way down to floor one but there you guys have it that's how you build a multi-floor elevator inside of minecraft bedrock if you enjoyed this video make sure you like subscribe and stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace